I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and introduce our very first speaker. This is an exciting speech because this is an icebreaker speech. So this is very, very exciting for me. I love icebreakers. Not too long ago, I made mine. The purpose of this speech is to inform and to instruct. This speaker likes to try new things, get out of the world, and learn about herself. In this speech, she'll bring up various experiences that changed her life and her outlook of her life. Her goal is to inform all of us in finding a number of ways to examine our lives. I give you MD. traditional way of greeting when you're saying hello or goodbye to somebody. Now most of you have probably heard it being used in the context of meditation or yoga. And I took my first yoga class when I was a sophomore in college. Now other than improving my flexibility and learning cool new poses like the dancer's pose, <laughs> I really didn't get any major benefits from yoga. I didn't really understand why I was doing yoga. That is until I moved to Chicago and I went to law school. Now, if you guys know any lawyers or people who are law students or anyone who went to law school and was like, I'm not going to be a lawyer, yeah. they'll tell you that those three years of law school is very, very long and incredibly stressful. You're very competitive with your friends, and you don't have a lot of confidence in yourself. You're constantly doubting yourself. And when I was so overwhelmed with all this stress, I was finally able to just stop and really think about what yoga was trying to say to me. I started going to a yoga studio in Chicago and when you would start your yoga class the yoga instructor would say things like I want you guys for this hour to forget everything that's happened before I want you to just focus on your yoga practice the yoga instructor would say things like yoga is all about you don't compare yourself to John Doe or Jane Doe just focus on your practice. The yoga instructor would say things like, yoga is only a practice. You're never going to be the best yogi in the world. But you got to do your poses and you got to do it confidently and be proud of your pose. So I took all these lessons that I learned from yoga and I translated it to my academic life. I told myself that it's okay that I didn't get the highest grade in real property or that my legal analysis skills wasn't that great in one realm. I also took it and translated it to my personal life. I told myself, indeed, don't compare yourself to other women or other men. Focus on yourself. Focus on your own practice. Learn to love yourself and appreciate yourself for what you are and write those papers or talk to people in a confident manner. It wasn't until I was finally able to really listen to yoga that I learned a deeper meaning from yoga. That it was more than just learning to be flexible or learning another cool new pose like the humble warrior. I was really able to find a way to de-stress. So in my icebreaker speech, I just wanted to advise you guys or to allow you guys to just really open your eyes, pay closer attention to things that are going on in your life. Maybe you can find some kind of meaning and help you de-stress. I know that in this day and age, especially in this city, Los Angeles, where you're never 
pretty enough, skinny enough, or tall enough, there's always a lot of stress. So try to find a way to find something in your life that can help you de-stress. And for me, it was yoga. Namaste. Hello.